Your next course tonight is a fried chicken sandwich. Here we used chicken heart as the, the chicken, and it's served on a honey herb brioche with a house aioli. Um, what's interesting about this is for those of you who keep track of food supply chains, uh, some of this is made into the national news, uh, there are issues with chickens right now because everyone wants either the wing or the thigh, and so it's created an imbalance. And this is, uh, you know, this is kind of the nature of the beast when we look at industrialized foods. And, and so here at the restaurant, of course, we only buy local, we buy from local farmers, and um, they're having the same issue because there's enough local restaurants buying from the same farmer that we buy from. And so what we try to do is we ask them, what do you have an abundance of? Uh, what do you need to get out of your, your coolers? and find a place for it on our menu. And in this case, it's the chicken hearts. Um, here also, we're partnering this dish with uh, our current intern. We have an intern through the Danforth Plant Science Center, and uh, our intern is focusing in on seed swaps in the Ozarks. And her role is to, to map or document all the known seed swaps in the entire Ozark region, and then ultimately to get a list of the seeds that are being swapped and if possible, gather those seeds to be able to do genetic testing to take us from a place of a colloquial name to a scientific name so we know exactly what's being swapped, document the, the diversity of produce in the area. And all this kind of partners with the project we're doing with the Botanic Garden who's doing a native plant mapping of the Ozark regions, native plants from a, uh, a food source perspective. So there's a lot of really cool stuff happening right now, people trying to grab this information and, uh, and get it in one spot, and we're really fortunate to be right in the midst of all that and, and participate as well. Anyway, hope you enjoy your fried chicken sandwich, and let us know if you have any questions.